All right, hello traders. Steve here from Option Alpha, and welcome to today's trade idea of the day. It is Friday, October 27th, and I'm excited to share with you the process that I go to to find new trading opportunities. Okay, so as you can see here, Trade Ideas is updating every minute of the day. So we're using live market data to find potential trading opportunities using really nothing but math, data, and probabilities. Okay, so how I like to approach trade ideas personally is start with sort of a 10,000 foot view, right? See everything and then start to narrow my focus based on a set of specific filters that I like to use to find potential opportunities. So we can sort by a number of different ways. We can use a lot of different filters. What I typically like to do is just look at all of the tickers out there, look at all of the symbols, right, and see what's available. So today's Friday, October 27th. The market has been um, struggling a little bit, right? Kind of having some trouble finding its footing. So I could choose some sort of a directional bias, but I think I'd rather just see what's out there for now. Just rely on the data, rely on the math, and find some high probability setups. Now, what I do want to do is I want to focus on a shorter time frame because we're going to be doing this together um, quite a bit uh, in the near future. So I want to try and get through as many trades as possible and start to build up this bot to see how these trades are performing. So for this specific bot, I'm going to keep it at a relatively lower days to expiration. Now, full disclosure, I do have some auto trading bots um, that I built out from trade ideas, right? And they're looking at different time frames. So we're going to explore those in some later videos. And I'm sort of excited to share with you how I've used the auto trading capabilities to go find some trades. But for today, let's focus on some short term trades and let's focus on high probability setups. So I can drop this down. I'm going to start, what I typically do is start around the 65% range, right? So I'm looking at trades that have a probability of profit of at least 65% and a probability of a max profit of at least 50%. All right, so these are all calculated live real-time data, and it's based on the underlying price at expiration. So I can come in here and very quickly, right, start to narrow that focus. We started very wide, and now we're starting to bring it in to a little bit narrower set of symbols and potential trades. All right, so the next thing I actually want to do is I'm going to come in here and make sure there's some liquidity in these trades. Now, personally, I like to have a setup where I know I have at least 500 um, open interest per leg inside of that position. So I'll go ahead and toggle that. And then we'll see, we actually still have quite a bit of positions. If I click up here in the symbols, I can see we have a ton of potential trading opportunities. So I'm just going to start to what I, I like to call ratcheting it up, right? I'm going to start to raise these probabilities, filter in some reward risk to narrow this down and um, find potentially what I like best at this exact moment in time as I'm looking for trades, right? So my reward to risk, let's start it somewhere around 80%. So I'm getting a pretty good return for my risk, right? Maybe if I'm risking $100, I have the chance to make 80, something around there, um, which I like. I like to keep that reward risk pretty tight. Now we can see if we jump to our symbols, we've narrowed that down drastically, right? We just went from hundreds of potential trades to just a handful, which is what I like to see. I know that I've narrowed it down. I have some high probability setups, pretty good reward to risk. And like I said earlier, I actually have some other auto trading bots that have some open positions in this time frame that include some of these major market ETFs. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and exclude the IWM, QQQ, and SPY from the list. And boom, now we only have three potential trades that meet my criteria. Now I can look at these individually and start to say, okay, which of these do I actually want to go ahead and get into a live position? Now, I also want to take a look at the max loss potential. Since my goal here with this series moving forward is to get into a lot of trades, I want to keep my risk relatively low, right? I want to stack a lot of positions on top, turn over those positions pretty quickly, leverage those probabilities in my favor. So what jumps out to me immediately, honestly, is this Disney Iron Condor. Because I'm still getting all of those great probabilities, I have a nice positive expected value, right? And my alpha's pretty solid, double digits in both. I'd love to see that. And my reward to risk is nearly 100%, and I'm only risking $53 to get into this trade. So let's actually pull up this position and see what we have available. Disney's right around 80, so 
a pretty even balanced iron condor I can see here. Again, my reward to risk is good. I can see these probabilities line up. If I wanted to, I could move some of these legs around, but I actually am happy with how that looks. Uh, looks like the bid ask spread is 49 to 43. Our mid price is 46. So I'm going to jump up this final price, right? I'm going to use smart pricing, which is going to go ahead and work through the bid ask spread for me. It's going to automatically cancel and replace orders if they're not filled. It's going to send um, up to four prices as it works through that spread, right? Four limit orders. It's going to try and get us filled. So at that price, I know at 45, you'll see all my probabilities update. My EV actually jumped up a little bit. My max profit is still over 50%, right? So more than half the time I could expect to make the max profit on this trade. So I'm gonna keep all of that as is. And the last thing I'm gonna do is create a bot, right? So this is very simple. Every position needs to be within a bot. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one so we can track the progress of all these trades as we move forward. So it is a live bot. We're gonna call it a live trade of the day. Oh, there we go. And we'll go ahead and drop this into my live trade station brokerage account. I'm going to give this, I'm just gonna keep it at a relatively low allocation of $1,000 because I'm gonna try and keep my risk under $100 per position. And I'm never gonna have more than 10 positions open at a time. So I'm gonna create that bot and now we're live. As soon as I send this order, it's gonna go straight through. It's gonna send that order to the broker and try and get filled. So let's see how we do. Place that trade, we are off and running. We can see it is working through smart pricing currently. We'll hang out and see what happens. Now you'll notice here, I have the ability to add exit options. So I can go ahead and preset all of my exit criteria before I'm even in the trade or sometime after the fact once the trade is open. And what I'm actually gonna do with this little experiment together as we start to open positions um, in the future is keep profit taking relatively high. Now full disclosure, as a trader myself, this is something I'm working on, right? When we calculate all these probabilities, they are based on the underlying price at expiration. And I know personally, I get a little um, trigger happy, right? I jump in there, I want to take those profits off the table. So I want to actually challenge myself to see what happens if I hold these positions a little bit longer um, and see if that has any sort of impact, if I can let those probabilities play out in my favor and I'm just going to leave it alone. I will go ahead and automatically exit this position about two hours before expiration and I do want to make sure I avoid day trading, but we're going to keep it very simple. We're going to open this trade. We're going to take 85% profit, or we're going to get out of the trade two hours before expiration. Otherwise, we're going to let the probabilities do their thing. And there we go. While I was talking, we were able to get filled. So that's beautiful. I can see I got $45 credit to open the trade. My capital or risk is 55, which is great. And I can see at any time I can jump in here and see where my probabilities are at. So I'm still sitting pretty good, 64% chance to make at least a dollar on this trade. My max loss is down there um, below 26%. So I can love that and I can quickly see my EV. We're still in positive double digit territory and our alpha is at 18%. So there we go, we are off and running. We'll jump over to the bot and we'll take a look at our position. We can see that it's sitting in there. And I do just want to update my settings. I'm gonna just do one position a day. Now this is an empty bot. Right, so there's no automations running. My automations are off. I'm gonna let exit options manage the position. So the only trades that we're gonna put into this bot together are these live trade idea, trade of the day, which we'll come in here and do on a pretty regular basis, and we'll just build it out. Now, like I said, in the future, we'll start to explore some other things, like the automated trade idea bots I have running. I wanna share how those are doing and some things I've learned along the way with trade ideas. And then we'll jump into a bunch of other concepts and topics as we move forward. So I would love to hear your feedback as well. Go ahead in the comments, ask me any questions you might have, drop some ideas in there that you might like to see. I'm very much looking forward to spending some time with all of you and we'll see where this goes. All right, happy trading. We'll see you next week. Have a good weekend.